Hey everybody, uh, I was, uh, I've been kind of homebound due to some hand surgery, but uh, I feel like having a little fun here lately, so I've been messing around in fifth position, blues. So if you like blues and uh, you've got a regular diatonic harmonica, you can play fifth position and get three octaves of the blues scale. Even if you don't overblow, you only lose one note, so you get basically three octaves. Uh, so it's really cool. Uh, there's a lot of neat stuff. I have a G harmonica here, golden melody. The band is in B, so if you, you go, if the band is in B, you go down two full steps to get to the harmonica you need for fifth position. So it's B, A, G, takes me to the G harmonica. Now the root notes, uh, the B is the two blow, the five blow, and the eight blow. That's a good exercise as well. That could have been better. But anyway, and uh, the flat third is just one blow note right of that blow note. Two, three, five, six, eight, nine, all blowing. And you get the minor third, which is that spoon, that spoon. Pretty neat, huh? So uh, then you can go, next note up, uh, you can get the fifth. I'm not going to break down all the blue scale. You can look that up for, for fifth position. That would be a lot faster to see a diagram than it would for me to try to explain it. But you can, yeah, and, and I'm going to try to do a similar lick in all three octaves. So in the bottom octave, you use those blow notes and add in the three draw and bent the three draw. And it's all in the blues scale. The three draw unbent, bent half step, bent full step. Those three notes are in the blues scale. So you get something like this. <laughs> And uh, you can also do those leak overs like you sometimes do in second position. They actually work in the music. And that one draw that you heard me slide to, it offers the flat seventh. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, moving on up to the second octave. Same thing with the six hole as with the three hole. You can get uh, uh, with an overblow, you can get the flat five, you can get the fourth and the fifth. So it's something like this. Now, I've got a little thing I do uh, when I do the six overblow in this position. I kind of leak over to the seven blow, and it really seems like it it works well to me anyway, especially with the music. But Okay, the hardest one is in the upper octave because the... Uh, the fifth and the flat fifth are bent notes on the, the ten blow, which that's the hardest one, one of the hardest ones to learn. Uh, the uh, ten blow unbent is not in the blues scale, so you got to watch that. But it sounds something like this.
Okay, that's a little bit of it. Let's see if we can jam and uh, have some fun. Let's do those octaves. to mention that uh, in the uh, when you do the octaves and the splits almost every note every split and octave works except maybe one up and down the whole harmonica so it's really neat but uh, that's my little intro to fifth I hope you enjoyed it and have fun with it see ya